What's going on guys? So you see that there's no video. The bikes didn't make it through the weekend. <laughs> my bike was fine. It had like big chunks in the oil and I changed my oil four times. And I used SSR OEM filters. I got it from Amazon, but uh, we used OEM filters and everything. Still getting oil or, or, or metal out of the oil. <laughs> Jason's bike, we only had it for probably five minutes. We sat in here, we, we brought it home from the dealer. We sat in here, we started it up, it sounded great. Had a little like rev hang and we were gonna sort that out on Saturday. We never got around to it. So on Sunday when we wanted to actually go riding, um, we were gonna break Jason's bike in fully, give it like two or three heat cycles, like hot, cold, hot, cold, whatever, what have you, uh, before we went riding. So we got here at like 9 a.m. Everyone was meeting up at 12 and uh, yeah, that, that didn't go as planned. So as soon as we got here, 9 a.m., I started my bike up one more time and did another oil change in it. And then Jason, after I finished, I wrapped up mine, uh, Jason went to start his bike because I did mine cold. I dropped the oil cold, so it was taking forever for it to drain. Jason was like, I'm gonna go ahead and start my bike up so that way the oil comes out faster, what have you. He starts it up and it immediately starts making a knocking noise. And we both just look at each other and it shuts off because SSRs don't run for nothing when they're cold. It shuts off, I looked at him, I was like, you know, like maybe the oil didn't get kicked up to the top end of the motor yet or it was just something weird. I said, go ahead and kick it again. So he kicks it a couple more times and it starts up again. It's, it's making some crazy noise. Um, we looked into it, it could be like a, like a timing thing. They have like a timing chain that runs through them and it could be like slapping or the sprocket itself is, is getting like chewed up or broken. Uh, or it could have been in installed incorrectly and they kind of like float back and forth a bit. We didn't rip the motor apart to find out. Um, we don't even have the bikes anymore. <laughs> so long story short, we went back to the dealer, explained to them what was happening, and they basically told us that, actually I'm not gonna tell them that, tell you guys that part. They took care of us. We are in new pitters, brand new bikes. Um, we paid the difference and you know, it's, it, we could ride again. We probably should have done this from the get go. Um, but we're, we're back. And hopefully this goes a little bit smoother. But we're back in some cowies right here. We got the cowies. So this is what we have. This is what we have now. We should, we, we should have bought these from the beginning. 